Energy and climate change, some big concerns for voters heading into the polls next week. Thanks for joining us for this late edition of Fox 43 News at 10. I'm Evan Forrester. And I'm Amy Lutz. Fox 43's Harry Lee takes a look at the stances of the major candidates running in Pennsylvania and their solutions to pr produce energy and reduce carbon emissions. Ed Wilkinson checks his corn. You have no ear here. Uh, little tiny, well, nothing. I mean, it's nothing. It couldn't grow anything there. There's a no ear. He's been farming these 4,000 acres of land near Gettysburg for 45 years. Corn, wheat, soybeans, sorghum, and have 600 head of steers that we raised to market. But a wet spring turned into a bone dry summer with almost no rain from July to September. It took, you know, what we thought was going to be a, a real good year down to not such a good year. Now Wilkinson isn't sure if he'll break even. What's there is good quality. It's just not much there. He worries how he'll survive more drought years brought on by climate change. It's almost like riding a roller coaster. You know, you get a good year and you try to stock up and store up and everything. And then for the year when you don't get, um, but multiple years, you, you can't handle multiple years back to back. If climate changes so much that we can't produce, then yes, I'm concerned where everybody's going to eat. Wilkinson is adapting with methods like no-till farming, which keeps more water in the soil. He says he wants to see investments in new agriculture technologies and feasible green energy. I'm hoping that with them breeding traits and stuff into the crops, into the corn, soybeans, drought tolerant corn, that we can get over those uh, dry spells and, and still have a crop for the cattle. Climate change and energy policy are two sides of an issue central to this election. Here are what state and federal level candidates are saying they'll do to curb rising energy costs and reduce carbon emissions. Pennsylvania is the third largest net supplier of energy in the country. That's partly thanks to the Marcellus Shale, a massive natural gas field that covers two thirds of the state. Republican gubernatorial candidate Doug Mastriano is a vocal proponent of fracking to harvest that natural gas. So it's time that we just unleash the potential of energy in Pennsylvania. That would benefit every single person in the state. And so it's time to roll back regulations and uh, open up lands and develop these resources without being infringed upon with so much overtaxation or freight fees from Harrisburg. So as governor, uh, I will endeavor to make us number one energy producer in the nation. And uh, number two, to do that, we'll roll back the regulations. Mastriano has called global warming fake science and makes no mention of climate issues on his campaign site. In contrast, Democrat Josh Shapiro wants to increase the state's share of renewable energy from 4 to 30 percent by 2030 and to reach net zero emissions by 2050. He says he'll do that by keeping current fossil fuel jobs, but also building green energy infrastructure. That includes bidding for some of the eight hydrogen hubs planned across the country. I think these hydrogen hubs, and we should get two of them here in Pennsylvania, are game changers for probably the next two or three decades. At least at first, the hydrogen power would be produced using natural gas, so it would in effect increase natural gas production. The Inflation Reduction Act passed in August invests heavily in domestic energy production, especially green energy. Democrat John Fetterman has praised the Inflation Reduction Act, while Republican Mehmet Oz said he would not have voted for it. Both Senate candidates, though, have taken shifting positions on fracking. Fetterman said in a 2018 interview that he doesn't support fracking at all. He reversed that stance during the Senate debate on October 25th. I believe that we need independence with energy, and I believe I've walked that line my entire career. Oz, meanwhile, wrote a column in 2014 calling for no fracking pending more research. He, too, denied his prior stance at the Senate debate. I've been very consistent. Fracking has been demonstrated. It's a very old technology to be safe. Uh, it is a lifeline for this commonwealth to be able to build wealth, similar to what they've been able to achieve in other states. For that reason, I strongly support fracking, drilling, the piping of that natural gas. In fact, I built a facility even in Philadelphia so we can export it. Fox 43 has all the info you need to make an informed decision this election. Find more on our website. Harry Lee, Fox 43 News.